What's up guys, girls, and whatever, it's Wanna Chaos 2033 and as you can see, I have a fuck ton of worlds to still go through. Some of them are not quite ready for a tour because they don't have a lot built, or they're just not ready. We're gonna be going to Battleship Fight, but before we do that, I have two worlds that I've updated recently, the Armor World and CG City. So let's go to the Armor World, shall we? Let me show you how I updated it since the walkthrough. Guns of Icarus was not updated because I barely work on that world. Uh, well, as hard as that is, to, as hard as that is to believe, considering the work done on that world. Here we are in the armor world, and it's pretty obvious what the difference was right at the beginning. But as you can see, all the uh, all the slabs are replaced with carpet, and all six of these motherfuckers, and everything's all updated. There's no slabs; there's just carpet now, it's because it works better with the color scheme. But yeah. As you can see, these are the new things. These are Goliath mechs from uh, Pandora First Contact, the PC game I've been playing. Yep, there's their name. <laughs> and uh, they turned out pretty well. I did a little custom design on them. And there's a Cerberus mech, which is just a custom design for me. But, you know, let's uh, let's get inside one of these babies. As you can see, I built two green ones. I, uh... Matt built a black and cyan one, which looks badass, and I built two green ones and the red one. Red one being the original, <laughs> fucking green ones being copies, and Matt built his black and cyan one along with uh, my green and black one. Let me just get some TNT out. There's only two weapons on these, and they're both the same type of cannon. They are, uh... There we go, just load them up. Uh, they are... Fuck, I don't know. Overly, uh, no, not over. I don't know what the fuck they're called, but they're a cannon mark something. <laughs> uh, I believe it's like an overpowered cannon mark four, two, or three something. I don't fucking know. I make too many versions of my already made cannons. But we're gonna fire them from here. Earlier on, you saw me, uh, look at the button on the cannon. Boom. Earlier on, you saw me look at the button on the cannon. That's for test fires. These are for like actual fighting. Ah, oh, no indent over there. Damn. All right, down here, yeah, you, we have three beds, including this one where I'm gonna sleep here. Uh, it's floating because it's carpet. See, there's the carpet. Uh, yeah, down here. We have a full-fledged storage system with nothing in any of these six chests. I think there's something in the inner chest. Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, another inner chest. Some ender eye, uh, ender eyes, ender, ender dragon eggs, and ender min eggs. Over here is the entrance to the uh, thing. Just climb up this ladder that's on its leg. Oh, when a uh, third person there for a second. Climb up the ladder on the leg. Then there's the entrance. And that's on both sides. Now onto the ah oh, crap, it's not loaded. Onto the Cerberus mech. Cerberus probably spelled wrong, but I don't care. There we go. Now the entrance over here requires a bit of a uh, ah fuck. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one the hard way. There we go. No more gubs on. Fuck. Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Here's the entrance. Right up the ass of it, of course. In here we have two lights, which you... Okay, yeah, I was just making sure that wasn't constantly on. Yeah. When you hit that lever, fires the uh, rapid system that I have up top, which I'm showing you now. Fires all six of them all at the same time with one pulse that the uh, system puts out. Already out of arrows, alright. It's just that. Uh, fuck. There we go. Turn that off, turn, close that, whatever. And. Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, the uh, cannons are exactly the same on all four of these giants. 
except for like maybe colors because uh, he does the light gray for some reason I can't remember what the reason was yeah but I built that one at the same time that Matt built his black and cyan one so that you know he would have a kind of guide to what we were doing and oh by the way this wool here is from the first test fire on the uh, uh, where is it on the red one over there that right side cannon on it and it blew up a sheep put his wool all Oh, what's up, Joe? I'm the Arbiter again. Alright. I thought I was Hero Brian. Anyways. CG City! There we go. Didn't put a transition in it. Fuck. Over here, as you can see, I improved on the nether fortress that I had here. I made it decorative as fuck. I have a working gate. It's it turns out really beautifully for for something that probably will blow up really soon. I don't want it to blow up, but you know, it gives me a reason to protect it. Over here we have the Nether portal itself that we have a pyramid sort of thing that I've built in. Decorative towers on both sides because I can't leave anything plain. I have to strain myself to do all of this. I also added lava, as you uh, saw. Poor there it is. Uh, I added lava pouring from the sky, pouring from the side of the bedrock over there. I did some bedrock testing things over there, uh, to behind me now, actually. Let's just head back to the city, where I also did some decorative improvements with the help of my friend Matt and our friends John and Trevor. As you can see, they added a garden in front of the, in front of the uh, fountains here. Which, gotta admit, looks pretty nice, and it makes up for the fact that we had a garden before, but I destroyed it to make a giant hammer and sickle. <laughs> and, as you can see, we added a new layer to the, uh, to the apartments. You know, with a new design, completely unique from anything else that either of us have ever built. And we somewhat started on the fourth floor? Yeah, the fourth floor. I also, along the time, I added these uh, columns inverted to the other ones below them in between the uh, first and second floor yeah but that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go over here onto my ender dragon egg and I will take you to the next world alright the battleship fight world let me just load this up real quick initializing server Yep. Loading bars. Story of my life. Alright, here we are in Battleship Fight. This was based off of something I saw a YouTuber do in PC. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I should I should recreate that. And I did. It took me a while to like finish the project, but you know, I, I got it complete. So that's the map here. I will well I won't, but if you paused it when I was uh, if you paused it when I was going through the, or about to select the world that had the seat on it, so if you want to make like a naval world or whatever. Here's the cannons here. They are based off the design they had, but I didn't exactly have theirs. I wanted to make mine unique to theirs, so I made my own version of what they had. And that cannon is possibly the most successful one. Here is the French ship, here is the Russian ship. As you can see, the uh, decoration colors are opposite, where there's spruce on the... Uh, Russian ship there is birch on the French ship and where is there and where there is birch on the Russian ship there's spruce on the French ship now I'm gonna fire at the French ship because uh, you know this was the original one that I built and then I had to base it off of then I had to base the French one off of this and copy every single block except in a different fucking color this is how you load the cannons and we might do, we might do like a competitive PvP with me and my friends on here, but I would need the audacity first because I'm I'm a fucking scrub. Yeah, so here we go. There we go. You have to time it. It doesn't fire itself. Oh, it bounced off. It doesn't uh, fire itself like all the rest of my cannons do. This one you have to time it exactly right so that you can fire the projectile instead of just having smoke puff out of the cannon from the explosion. Put in less TNT that time so that hopefully 
it will fucking get the thing. And it did, good. Alright, let's do this some more. <laughs> the goal in this is to destroy all four cannons or hit the powder magazine. I will show you the powder magazine when uh when I go up to the other ships. I'm recording audio in post here. I'm uh I'm commentating instead of just talking while I'm doing this, so if it seems like I don't remember or I don't know what's going on, or if my audio is like slightly lagged behind, it's because I'm trying to rem remember what I wanted to say while I was recording, but for some reason, oh, but for some reason I didn't. So, yeah. <clears throat> it would have been helpful if that day I recorded the same, I recorded the audio for this video, but I didn't! Because like I said, I'm a fucking scrub. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... So if this works. And fire the cannons! Fuck! Alright, I want this. Yeah, but here are the four cannons that you're supposed to destroy. Sometimes you'll get a twofer. Here is the powder magazine, which, to end this video on the bang, I'm going to set off both of them, just to make it look like things are fair, because the things are pretty much fair. I have a powder magazine there, it's just I have a floor for some... I don't know why I put that floor in, actually. We're not going to use the bottom there. In these chests on both on both ships, it's completely filled with TNT. And, uh, there it is. There's a chest on each ship that has three bows and a bunch of arrows. The only thing that's not identical is this right here that has a extremely long cannon in it that I then cut off because I didn't want it after all. I just kind of left it there. It's like yeah, at a later date I'll go and uh I'll go and demolish that. Never happened. Still has yet to happen even when this video is out. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, that, that was stupid. I'm gonna see if I can hit the powder magazine on the French ship but I'm loading it the easier, creative way. That should curve the shot. Should be... Yeah, that should be good. Good. Good, good. Good, good. Alright. <sighs> are, you, are you fucking kidding me with that shit? Fuck it, I'm gonna get a button now, and I'm gonna set off the powder magazine so I can end this video with a bang. Fire in my hole. I mean, in the hole. It's a pretty good way to signify the end of the game. You know, you're in the entire bow of your ship exploding. Oh, I threw the uh, whatever, I don't need a map. I don't need no map where I'm going. So yeah, that pretty much renders the ship useless in a uh, in an actual sense, but really, you're okay. I don't know if I'm gonna improve this map anymore. Like, oh, by the way, this is the spawning ship. We have four bed. We have uh, all eight beds for all eight people that can be here. And down here is something cool I added, where it's just like a underwater observation area. Ice works the best with this. I wouldn't recommend glass. It gets all weird. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, but all the way across here is uh, Matt's first presence in the world, where I really pissed him off because he made like some kind of kind of cool looking building, and I just poured lava all over the fucking thing. <laughs> um. Oh, fuck it, I'll just break the glass. It's not like it, it's not like it really matters anymore. Aw, oh, there's a there's an entrance right there that I could have used, but I didn't. Alright. He tried saving it with the water, but as you can see, when I look up, it did not work out too well for the water because I just kept placing the lava. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, people. Like, favorite, subscribe, and fucking comment for once. I answer.